In this video, we're going to take derivatives of inverse trig functions. And keep in mind that sometimes inverse sine can be written as arc sine. So those two items mean the same thing. So here we've got an inside function of 3x. Let's keep that in mind. Now remember, the derivative of inverse sine is 1 over root 1 minus x squared. We do have an inside function, though, so we need to alter that slightly. So we have dy dx equal to derivative of the outside 1 minus don't change the inside, multiply by the derivative of the inside, which would be 3. So I have dy dx equal to, we have a 3 on top, root 1 minus 3x times 3x is 9x squared. We cannot take the square root of the 9 and the 1. There is no reducing. In example 2, remember this could also be written as arc cosine 4x. The derivative of uh, inverse cosine, remember, is negative 1 over root 1 minus x squared. But since we have a chain rule problem, we alter that slightly. We go dy dx equal to negative 1 over root 1 minus, don't change the inside, multiply by the derivative of the inside. So now we have dy dx is equal to, we have a negative 4 on the top, on the bottom root 1 minus 4x times 4x would be 16x squared. In our third example, we have inverse tangent, which could be written as arc tan. And again, we have chain rule. Let's remind ourselves the derivative of inverse tangent is 1 over 1 plus x squared. Some people learn it as x squared plus 1. Chain rule applies, so dy dx is equal to, we have 1 over 1 plus, don't change the inside, multiply by the derivative of the inside. dy dx is equal to, 2 on top, 1 plus 2x times 2x would be 4x squared. Again, keep in mind we cannot reduce the 2 and the 4. In example 4, we have co inverse cotangent, which could be written as arc cotangent. So let's keep in mind that they mean the same thing. So the derivative of inverse cotangent let's remind ourselves, is negative 1 over 1 plus x squared. Chain rule applies. dy dx is equal to negative 1 over 1 plus, don't change that inside function, make sure you leave that alone, times the derivative of the inside. So dy dx is equal to negative 5 over 1 plus. Uh, this time I'm going to leave that as 5x minus 2 squared. In our last example, we have inverse secant. Remember, that could be written as arc secant. Chain rule applies. Let's remind ourselves that the derivative of inverse secant is 1 over the absolute value of x square root of x squared minus 1. Chain rule applies. So dy dx is equal to 1 over absolute value. Don't change the inside. Root, again, don't change that inside. Multiply by the derivative of the inside, which would be 2. In this case, yes, you can cancel that top two with that bottom two because they are both positive twos. And so we have a dy dx is equal to 
1 over absolute value of x square root of 2x times 2x is 4x squared minus 1. Again, don't make the mistake of thinking you can take the square root of the inside there.